Hi, this is Brother Sean with eLearning Brothers. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to change the colors of some of the Lectora skin elements. Um, with every skin purchase, you, uh, we actually give you the work files. These are the PSD files that you can open up in Adobe Photoshop. Um, to start with, let me go ahead and show you how easy it is to change the color of some of the player bars. So I'm going to go ahead and open up player bar 1 PSD, and I'm opening this up once again in Adobe Photoshop. All right, and you'll notice that by default, it's just a, a kind of a shiny black looking um, um, kind of element here. And this is, you know, our one of our our slick series skins. All the skins work very similar, though a few elements might be different. Um, the same concept will work for all of our skin uh, packages. Uh, if you want to change kind of the main body color, which is this black, all you need to do is go into your layers palette. If your layers palette's not open, just go up to window and make sure layers is opened up. A lot of times it's, it's, it's tucked over here on the, uh, the right, bottom right side. Um, all right, so all you need to do is just double click on the body layer and it goes into your layer styles. Here you can add drop shadows, inner shadows, all sorts of different effects, but what I want to do is actually just change the color. So if I want to change it with just a solid color, you could just go ahead and click on the color overlay and then it gives you a few options here. So you can change the color and let's say you want it maybe a fun tan color. Yeah, that looks good. Click OK and OK. And really, that's how easy it is to change the colors of uh, these elements. Um, if you like, there's a highlight layer here on this particular skin. You can adjust the, uh, the opacity, turn it down if you want. Um, once you actually get the element how you would like, um, this player bar here, all you need to do is go File, Save for Web, and we need to save this out as a PNG file with a transparent background. So what you want to do is from the top preset up here, you have a couple different options. Make sure you select the PNG 24. PNG 24. And then there's also this little checkbox here for transparency. If you have it unchecked, it will make a white background here, which might not work good with your, uh, your design in Lectora. So make sure you have the transparency checked. You'll see these little checker pattern in the background. That means it's transparent. And then click Save. Name it whatever you want. And go ahead and click Save. And that saves a transparent background PNG that you could then import into Lectora. Let me go ahead and show you how to do one of the buttons now also. The same technique applies for the buttons. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up one of our navigation buttons here. And I'm going to zoom in so you can actually get a better idea of what's going on here also. Once again, you'll go to the Layers palette, and you'll notice that there's a couple uh, folders here. You have Icon folders and a Button folder. In the Button folder, same kind of thing. If we want to change the body color, we'll just double click on it. And in this case, let's go ahead and do a gradient overlay. So instead of a color overlay, let's do the gradient overlay. You can go ahead and click on the gradient option here, and then you can go and change the color of each one of these little swatches. And get the button how you like it, click OK. And once again, you just save this out as a transparent background PNG and uh, replace this with your within Lectora and you'd have new button styles. So that's how you change the colors and modify the, uh, some of the elements for the Lectora skins.